What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. So this will be the spoiler free review for Fast and Furious 10. Fast X as it is officially titled coming out later this week. This movie is being directed by Luis Leterrier or Louis Leterrier. It is from a screenplay by Dan Mozal or Dan Mazu and Justin Lin. And we know, of course, it's starring some titular names and very notable names that have always been a part of the franchise, like Vin Diesel, Michelle Rodriguez, Tyrese Gibson, Ludacris, Jason Statham, John Cena's back, Jordana Brewster, Charlize Theron, uh, Jason Momoa, and some other people I do not care to mention. Actually, I will throw out Brie Larson, who did a phenomenal job in the movie, I would add. Now, this film, of course, is revolving around our family, Dominic Toretto's family, who must protect his crew and family from Dante Reyes, the son of drug lord Hernan Reyes, who is seeking revenge for the loss of his family's fortune for one of the gang's previous heists. Now, while this film is not as ridiculous as Fast 9, Fast X isn't a film I would say was very good or even mildly good. It was just entertaining. A part of me is frustrated that this franchise is very much so content with being nothing but sheer carnage entertainment, but I also understand that the dollar is all that matters at the end of the day to the studios so as absurd as the series is i'll hold on till it's over so from the top i do need to condemn the editing because it is very insufferable at times the amount of cuts you have during the first act are ineffective at build building any sort of tension if that's what the intent was but it does succeed at becoming hard to watch which i doubt was their goal i mean there are times where the conversations aren't even worth investing in because the editing is so sloppy and does nothing to garner your investment now the editing does improve as the film progresses, so I was pleased with that. The theme about family, always, as usual, serves as the heart of the story, but what else is new at this point? Dom and his obsession with family being used against him, forcing him to make tough decisions, testing his faith, all of that is compelling in the writing until it isn't. Now, what I mean is, Fast and Furious has done such a horrendous job at making me believe anyone is ever in any real danger that when Dom is faced with any obstacle, the tension is not hitting as hard as these films would like it to. It's especially true in the case of Fast X. The constant display of plot armor for not only Dom but the rest of the crew makes it nearly impossible to take any threatening situation seriously. Fast 10 again, it serves up a few instances like this and even delivers an eye rolling cliffhanger that just completely feels unnecessary because of the amount of plot armor that the series has kind of continued to demonstrate with each subsequent sequel that we've been getting over the past few years or past decade i would say uh the attempts at building stakes are just flattened by the serious abuse of plot armor which is the same which is a shame because the performances are strong and i would say they are quite compelling at times jason momoa being an absolute scene stiller from the moment he appears on screen the standout amongst the cast to be honest dante reyes is easily one of the most memorable villains and he's able to demonstrate that his character is very layered Momoa's ability to switch between comedic and sinister is the true strength in this role. He's basically doing his version of Joker. Uh, think Heath Ledger more than anything. He commands your attention every time he is on screen due to the unpredictable, na unpredictable nature he's able to capture of this character. Every other performance I would say was solid, but Jason deserves a specific mention. Even with some poor bits of dialogue, he's just able to make it passable. I do dig that the writing is continuing to embrace how ridiculous the series is, bring, is bringing in some self-awareness to the point that we even get a monologue of just how absurd the series progression is. That doesn't make it any less ridiculous, but at least it's able to poke fun at itself. I did find myself laughing a few times during this movie. Not because everything was funny. Some things probably were unintentionally funny when they were intended to be serious. Um... Uh, you get the signature family cookout sequence, writing that has our characters surviving things that they shouldn't be, which again only disrupts the tension that the film is trying, trying to establish later on. Fast X is entertaining, but it's also just very frustrating to watch. As far as the fight choreography, choreography stand out for me was the sequence between letty and cypher there's a cool soundtrack as usual breathtaking over the top explosive visuals other cool action set pieces it was a fast and furious movie it, and there was never a dull moment pacing was the film's biggest w in my eyes outside of jason momoa's performance the absurdity of the movie remains the strongest negative because it again just eradicates the other departments like the fact that i know the film is attempting to make me feel concerned about the safety of our characters, as I mentioned, but it just does not work because of how absurd the series has gotten. Besides that, 
like I mentioned earlier, the editing is tough on several different occasions. And the story is just kind of juggling a little too much for the viewer to fully invest in any aspect of the plot. The story is just too crowded in a nutshell. You have Jacob and Dom's son doing their own adventure, Letty and Cypher, Roman and the others, then Dom off on his own. It's just a lot being managed with the plot threads all being undercooked in the end. You guys let me know what you think about Fast X down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Turn on post notifications and the video in the description i'll have links on my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video and i would go out and say that i give it a 6.5 out of 10